And the Sunday series machine, obviously it's a, a, a still a relatively new initiative, but um, it must be something that you look forward to. Uh, yeah, for sure. Look, there, there is great bonuses um, when you go there, and I suppose when you're going racing on the Sunday too, uh, it, it is uh, great to get winners, um, probably most importantly, but uh, when you're getting an extra bonus uh, on top of it, it, it is great. So this is my little queen's yeah, it machine, is, yeah. yeah. And she's, she won for you at Hamilton. Yeah, she got me out of trouble in Hamilton, for sure. Um, I didn't get much luck in running that day and probably done everything wrong, but look, she won, so it was, it was good. Just on the Jockey Cup, obviously it was great to win it a couple of times last season. Yeah, look, it was great. Um, I was fortunate enough that we have plenty of runners for it, so um, it probably set up well for me, but uh, look, it's still hard to win. Um, you need a bit of luck, and uh, I only had one winner um, on two of the days. You need plenty of places as well, so um, look, it was good. Look, there's plenty of competition as well, so it's, it's great. So, Shane, the Sunday series starts off at Musselburgh. Uh, tell us a little bit, what's it like to ride at Musselburgh? Um, well, look, it can be a tricky track. Um, over the shorter trips, uh, you need to brake well and be sharp and destroyed. Um, it can play the fr uh, front runners, but um, look, I've had a bit of luck there, so I can't complain. And then on to Newmarket, which is the rolling mile, sort of different again? Yeah, it is. Um, I suppose every track varies. Um, but look, it can be hard for them to come down the hill. And um, But look, I suppose it's, it's a good initiative and uh, hopefully we'll get a winner there. And Hamilton, not a race course that ITV viewers would have seen much before the Sunday series, but very different, very much a bit sort of like a roller coaster of a race course. Yeah, it is. Um, for the majority of it, you kind of run downhill um, and then for the last maybe far long and a half, there's a good rise. But uh, look, it can be a tricky track to ride as well. And then Thirsk, a race course that you've done really well at. Um, probably one of the one of the, the better race courses that you have for your strike rate. Uh, yeah, look, we've had plenty of luck there. But um, I think on when you have slower ground, they're always um, inclined to come to the outside and uh, you need a bit of luck and run there as well. Um, Haydock, the penultimate um, meeting, and always really competitive there. Yeah, it's always really competitive. Um, Look, it's a good, flat, honest track and um, look, usually the best horse wins, uh, which makes life a lot easier. And then finally, Pontefract. Um, again, a, a, a race course with a stiff uphill finish. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're climbing for maybe four furlongs up a hill. Uh, you need a horse that stays well. Um, it can be a long way to the finish, for sure. And how do you find like adapting to the different, you know, the different race courses? And um, well, I suppose it probably does. It probably does take a while to um, adapt to it, but um, yeah. once you've raced there once, you know the track, and uh, people will always give you advice as well if you need it, so it's great. And Sheen, obviously you won the Jockeys' Cup twice, and obviously the Richard Fahey horses played a huge part in that. Yeah, um, I think he always aims horses at it. Uh, look, he has a lot of runners there, which, um, which is always a help, but he always um, picks horses out for it that would have a good chance. Um, and look, it's great when you can get on them too. And then just looking at some of the horses that um, you might have running in the Sunday series, a um, couple of horses to, to flag up Hartswood, who's been a real good servant for the yard. Um, yeah, he, he has. He's been here a long time. Um, he seems to always run his races. He's fairly consistent and um, he tries hard, so it's a bonus. And a horse I know that um, Richard likes Silent Move. Uh, yeah, Silent Move. Um, Look, he won well in Thirsk when he won, and uh, the next time he ran um, in Carlisle, maybe he just done a bit too much, but I think he has a horse to look forward to for the season. Um, another one who's been real consistent is Zip. Yeah, Zip, uh, look, he's been here the same. Um, he's one of the yard favourites, and uh, he, he's fairly honest and genuine, so uh, look, it's, it's great when you get on him, he always runs a good race. No, nay, Nicky, I think does well at York, but could be one for the Sunday series. Yeah, I think she could, uh, but look, she, she's probably her best runs are at York, but um, she's fairly consistent wherever she runs, and um, look, hopefully she should go to some of them races with chances. Uh, Jinsident? Jinsident, uh, he, he won in Musselburgh last year, he won well, but um, look, he's, he was just uh, touched off in, um, a couple of weeks ago, and then he went to Lingfield and ran a bit disappointing when he was too free, but um, 
Look, when he gets back in the grass, he should be a better horse. And what about Marine Wave? Uh, she, she's a, a good filly. She, she probably works a lot better than she's been running, but um, hopefully this year she can prove what she's shown on the gallops. And the, the, the lads and lasses who obviously look after the horse, lead them up um, with the best turned out prizes for first, second and third, it's good that they're recognised as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, the yard people probably work the hardest out of everyone in racing and um, look to get a, probably an extra couple of quid for them. Uh, they're delighted, but uh, the, ho the horses are always well turned out here and they always try um, their best to keep them as, as clean and tidy as ever, so it's great.